Hi guys, uh, in this video we will be looking at um, Mpumalanga, so that was a prelim, that was prelim uh, September 2024, question 5, um, when we left our video we were at 5.3, but today we will look at 5.4 and 5.5, right, let's get to today's video. Firstly, we are given that sine theta multiplied by sine theta, uh, sine 3 theta divided by 2 and cos 3 theta divided by 2 cos theta, um, which is equal to negative root 3 all over 2. Well, to, to determine, because here we are, we are required to determine the, the, the general solution, right? But we can see that this... Uh, it's what we call a compound angle. Yes, a compound angle of um, of cos. Why I say so? Because it's cos cos and sine sine. So we need to group this um, in a standard form. So we'll start with cos um, cos theta cos three theta divided by two and cos theta. Yes. So we will regroup this in a standard form. So we'll say cos 3 theta and cos theta. Then uh, this will be plus sine theta and sine um, 3 theta divided by 2, which is equal to negative root 3 all over 2. So from here, we can write it in a single uh, trigonometric ratio. So since it's a, it's a trigonometric ratio of cos, since it's a compound angle of cos, this will be cos 3 theta divided by 2 minus uh, theta which is equals to negative root 3 all over 2 so from here what we could do um, 3 theta uh, divided by 2 minus uh, theta the same as 3 all over 2 divided by theta which is half when you uh, when you simplify it so in other words we will be left with cos uh, theta all over 2 which is the same as half theta right so which is equals to negative root 3 all over 2 then let's look for the reference angle uh, punch in a calculator second function of um of second function of negative uh, root 3 all over 2 where do you get there you get 150 so meaning that our reference angle is 150 so in other words, theta all over 2 will be equal to 150 plus k times 360. Then we will then multiply everything by 2. So to make theta the subject, multiply by 2, multiply by 2. Then these are 2 and 2 cancel. We are left with theta. 150 times 2, that will be 300. Then 360 times 2, that will be 720. So, yk is an element of integers. That's the first solution. The other solution, remember, since it's cos, we must have the one that is negative. So, it will be negative, remember, theta over 2 will be negative 150 plus k times 360. We will then uh, multiply by 2 as well. Multiply by 2, multiply by 2, this and this cancels. So, we are left with negative 300. Plus, um, okay, so from here, what are we, uh, it will be k720, where k is an element of integers. So this is how you can um, go about uh, with this general solution. I hope, guys, um, you have seen how you can um, tackle such question. So that question was 4 marks, so you will have scored 4 marks. So we will go to 5.5 .5 now. Right. At 5.5, .5, um, we are given the product of sine and cos beta, which is equal to negative 1. Then they said write down the maximum and the minimum value of cos beta. So if we look at the graph of cos beta, it's, mean, it's when you draw it, you can see that the maximum value will be... 1 and the minimum value will be negative 1. Yes. The maximum value will be 1 and the minimum value will be negative 1. Meaning that's the solution at 5.5.1. Then let's go to 5.5 .5, uh, 
point two. So we can answer the first question by drawing. Then the set solve for theta where zero, uh, 0 and 270 and beta is negative 180 and, uh, and 90. So that's the domain we are given. So let's follow the restriction. Let's work. Well, um, at 5.5.2, remember a given sine theta. So goes to negative 1 and cos uh, theta is equals to negative 1. So let's punch that in a calculator. When we say second function of negative 1, for sine theta we get theta as 90. And let's go for beta. Punch it in a second function. Okay. What do we get? We get 0. Uh, right. Other solutions. Um, remember, you can have other solutions as well. Mm -hmm. Other solution is where the uh, theta is negative. So when we punch and add, what do we get? We get um, theta is 270.